Hey, W.com, I'm here with Peter Jackson, the man of Comic-Con, and yet, my understanding is, this is your very first Comic-Con. Uh, it sure is. I've um, appeared before as a sort of talking head in a video, because um, over the years, I, I must have sent three or four messages, but I've always been shooting movies while Comic-Con's been happening, so this is the first time that I've had the the moment to be able to come over here without shooting a film, so. Have you wanted to come up even before shooting Lord of the Rings? I've been to a lot of science fiction conventions as a fan. I mean, I used to, you know, go to conventions and go around buying stuff and looking for posters and collectibles, and that's what I'd really like to be doing now, to tell you the truth. I, rather than be, as nice as it is talking to you, I'd rather be down there buying cool stuff on the floor. But the trouble is, when you make a movie like that, you don't get any opportunity to be a geek and to actually, you know, Take, have the fun that Comic-Con yeah. should be. Well, you're here to promote District 9. Yeah. Now explain for our viewers uh, what that movie's all about. Well, District 9 is a film that uh, is directed by Neil Bloomkamp, a, a young South African um, director. Uh, and he was very much inspired by living in Johannesburg and seeing the end of the apartheid era and, you know, seeing what that did to society. Except he's also a sci-fi geek and he loves robots. So he's combined his real-life experiences of South Africa with robots and science fiction and he's come up with a really crazy, wacky movie about um, how Johannesburg treats a, a million alien refugees that suddenly land on his yeah. door doorstep. And they put them into a township um, in Johannesburg, but then that leads to social chaos and it, it's, a, it's a really distinctly original film. I, I'm pretty proud of it.